I'll, I'll tell you this other quick story then. I, I, at uh, Christmas time, I, just, I went back home with my parents. I live in Manchester now. My parents are from Leeds. I'm from a place called Otley. Don't know if you've heard of Otley. Beautiful place. Beautiful place if you discount the indigenous population. <laughs> it is the only place in Britain I've seen a bloke get so angry he's turned into a chicken. <laughs> I'll give you an example of what I mean. Like, if ever knocked somebody and they spilt the pint and they've been like, Hey! <laughs> Oi! <laughs> what the? What the fuck? <laughs> and then fucking laid an egg. <laughs> I was having a few drinks in, uh, in, in Weatherspoons, classy bar, Weatherspoons. I don't know if you've been to every Weatherspoons in the country, has got the same two blokes in it as well. You've got the two, two like, basically the two wrinkliest blokes you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> Go in any Weatherspoons now, you see, there's always the wrinkliest fuckers you've ever seen in your life. They're only 25, they're just fucking... <laughs> They just, they just smoke 900 cigarettes a day and drinking with a spoon from <laughs> quarter past nine in the morning all the way through to... And they haven't got a job. How the fuck do they afford it? They just didn't... I know it's only 40p a pint, but fuck it. <laughs> Honestly, they are so wrinkly. They look like what they've done is one of them's cut a bollock, stretched it over his head, <laughs> and then just cut eye holes in a mouthful, and it's just... <laughs> fucking... Like, just that couple of strands of hair and a fucking mole. Like, what the fuck? You notice that your bollocks and your elbows look a bit the same, don't they? It's just a bit weird, that, isn't it? Well, I don't know why that is. But here, yeah, these two guys talking absolute bollocks, and I, 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 I said, I'm having a couple of drinks. I've had a curry, and I don't know if anyone likes a curry. Anyone like a curry? Yeah, I had a curry in Manchester last night. Gave me the shits. I thought, didn't order that. I had, a, I had this curry, and I've had a, I'm having a few drinks. Now, drinking and curry don't mix very well. Do you ever get that thing where you get a little warning after you've had a curry? Where it says... I'm ready. That's <laughs> so why you don't do a, a school night with a curry, is it? Like, I'm ready. Fuck. <laughs> I'm a Yorkshireman. I don't want to perpetuate a stereotype, but I still had a pint left. I'm like, fuck this. I finished my pint. That was a terrible choice. Like, because adults don't. Adult, adults can control themselves. No, not this dickhead. No, I finished my pint. I'm like, I knew I was in trouble because I got off the bar stool and as I was walking across the bar, I was farting with every step. <laughs> well, these floorboards creaky. I don't know what's going on. You can get outside in the fresh air, it's been like, oh, fuck. Not only do I now need a shit really badly, but I'm pissed. Because it's the fresh air, and it's not the 15 pints. It's always the fresh air. And as soon as you step in the fresh air, you open the door, and your brain goes, oh, hey, buddy, I think we're all right, and release, and it releases. And now, have you ever, have you ever done that? Well, you've released a shit and had to catch it like that. Because <laughs> I did that in the middle of the street in Manchester City Centre, and I'm like, fuck, I can't move. Right. And on, I thought, the only thing I do is like, it's about a 10 minute walk to get home from where I was. I thought, I'll run it in about six minutes. Now, the thing is, I had to sort of keep in that position. So I'm running like that, right? <laughs> Honestly, I look like Riverdance. Seriously. You know, come through the street. I pretty much think that that's how Riverdance started. That Michael Flatley one night went out for a curry. <laughs> He'd had a few drinks. He's like, all the way home, like this. Lads, I think this will catch on. <laughs> Honestly. I get home, I live on my own, get home, and I get to, I think, fucking just get in, and everything's that pissed where I try to open the door to your house just turns into like a game from the cube. <laughs> can, can you hear Philip Schofield behind me going, you've got three lives left, Jim. <laughs> Would you like me to simplify the game? <laughs> I don't know, Phil, I've got this, open the door, I thought, okay, I'm in, I'm free. No, 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 not, not me, because I've got a porch on my house. Why? It's just a door that leads to the fucking door, what's the point of that? Get through the second door, and it's at that point my body really starts releasing, I'm, like, oh, I'm in trouble here. I crawl up the top of the stairs. Now I live alone. I'm trying to get into the bathroom. I'm like, fucking hell, it's locked. Who's in here? And he's at that point, as an adult man, shit myself. <laughs> and then fell asleep. <laughs> Problem is, you wake up next morning, the first thing you think is like, <laughs> who's shitting themselves? <laughs> and there's that horrible moment where you realise it's you. I was taking my jeans off, right? They're not skinny jeans, by the way. I'm just really tight. I've had these since I was 14. I'm uh, <laughs> Taking your jeans off, it looked like a fake tan the inside of your legs. I was like, whoa. <laughs> Just get rid of the sweet corn, it'd be quite nice. That I was like smearing it in. <laughs> That's very nice. Right. So, uh, uh. Just sort of disguise the smell somehow. I tried using TCP, that didn't work. <laughs> and it was that point I looked across the hall. I was like, why was the bathroom not? It won't. I could see the bathroom door wide open. I would have pissed off trying to get in the airing cupboard. <laughs> 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 Ha ha ha!